Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am going to be doing a summer natural glam today. So if you want to see how we get this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so we're just going to jump straight into the glam. So I've already applied my moisturiser. Um, so I'm now going to do my under eye cooling balm. So I've used this in the last couple of videos. It is just my favourite one. Um, I go between this and the Kylie cosmetics one so I usually use the Kylie cosmetic one at night and then I use this one during the day. I hope you guys are all well. Um, yeah so like I said I'm trying to upload every three days but um, so there we go we're just blending that under the eyes um, and this looks amazing under makeup like genuinely my concealer is so much smoother when I add this. So because we're doing more like a glam makeup today, I am going to be using primer. So I'm going to be using the NARS Radiance Primer and this is phenomenal. I love the colour of this first and foremost. It's like kind of like a peachy colour, um, but this is like the glowiest thing you will ever see. It just makes your makeup look so smooth. So this is a must for a glam. <laughs> In the forehead so i just like to do little like circular motions to really get the product all over the face if you're looking for a primer i would definitely recommend this one it is just so glowy and it makes your skin feel so like hydrated and smooth and glorious <laughs> so we're just doing circular motions make sure it is all everywhere this is also the perfect base underneath like foundation or even concealer. Like it's just so amazing. So to finish off, we're using the Rem Beauty Cam and Face Mist. Just a wee quick little spray of that. So obviously, because this is a glam, we are going to be doing a little bit of foundation. However, I am kind of like between shades just now. So yeah, we're going to like mix them a little bit. So I'm going to be mixing the True Match Foundation by L'Oreal and the Fenty Beauty Foundation. So I've just put a wee bit of the L'Oreal one there. Add a little bit of the Fenty. There we go. Yeah, just a really awkward shade right now. Um, just blend it out like so and apply it to the face. Yeah, I'm just like really in between shades just now because I feel like my body's really tanned and like my face is just not <laughs> so a really good tip um is to apply your foundation with like your finger because you're not like losing product that way because the beauty blender does absorb the product so you're actually losing a lot of product so we're just going to blend it out kind of like small dab motions we're also going to kite down to neck it looks so orange on camera i swear it's not like this in real life <laughs> i was like to take it like to my hairline as well so really blend it out so i'm going to take another beauty blender and then pat it in as well because obviously this one still has a product on it so you're gonna get a fresh one and blend it all out i'm just gonna drag it down the neck I find using another beauty blender after like applying it is so crucial because like I said obviously this carries like the product with it so you're basically just adding more product on kind of thing whereas we want to blend out what we've got in the face already so using another one will make it seem so much more natural and smoother. Okay so I look very orange right now but I promise this concealer will tone it down. So I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. One of the best concealers out there, honestly. And this is in the shade Custard. So we're just going to take a little tiny bit. And what I like about this shade is that it literally is like my skin colour kind of thing. So, so I like to cover up with this first. And then I like to go with another one and brighten it up. But I feel like this one is just so, so good. So I'm just adding this to anywhere I want to cover. Any like blemishes or like red spots or just anything. Um, and that's it's done. We're going to blend this out. 
Um, and with this, I'm just kind of going to focus it in the area that I applied it. So, for example, just under the eye. I don't like to like proper like dab it all over my face um, just because I like to really kind of focus on like one area. Um, however, if it was like foundation, I'll say like you guys saw it, just kind of spread it everywhere. But I feel like concealer is much more like purposeful for a specific area, if that makes sense. So I try to avoid putting it like all over my face. The NARS concealer is just... I actually have no words to explain it. Like it's just amazing. If you were to get any concealers, I would say, um, oh God, there's a lot that are really good actually. Um, well, the NARS one, the Tarte Shape Tape, which is really good. The MAC Studio Fix and the Charlotte Silvery one. Honestly, they're probably the best. I like the Fenty concealer as well. So that is the concealer all blended out and it looks so much more toned down now, which is good because we were looking a little orange when it go. <laughs> As per usual, I'm going to go on with my MAC Studio Fix Concealer in the shade NW15. This is going to brighten up the under eyes. So we're just going to add the tiniest little bit, like so. And then we're also going to put it up here. A little bit in the nose, the chin. Anywhere I want to brighten. Um here to go the contour and that's us done get the beauty blender again and blend that out so if you've been watching other videos you will see that i've got this like new technique that i'm like fangirling over so we just dab it in and we try to dab it towards the nose like inwards like so and then we drag it up like towards the top of my ear and this really just gives like definition, like honestly, I feel like it makes my face look so much more like defined and toned and all the things. Same with the concealer here, just like to kind of bring it up a, light, a little bit. Obviously you do not need to add as much concealer as me, um, but I just like to add a lot, especially with the brightening because I like to be nice and bright. <laughs> then we're going to go in again and just blend out the eye towards the nose like so. So just keep it in that position and then drag it out. I would recommend leaving your concealer for just like a couple of seconds and um, before blending it out. That way it gets like tacky. I feel like it works so much better and it makes it like 10 times more efficient and like effective. <laughs> then the nose we're just going to, we just want to keep it like on the actual like middle of the nose just like a little tiny bit like so and then last but not least the forehead so i just like to keep it in the exact same position as it was placed like so okay so that is concealer now done and we're going to go in with the revolution contour and highlighting stick so i'm going to use the darker shade oh and this is in the shade dark as well dark um so we're going to just contour out the face so I like to just take the contour kind of above the cheekbone slightly just to kind of like lift up my face a little bit a DIY facelift moment <laughs> and like so it does not need to be pretty like it just has to be a line <laughs> and then the forehead just a little bit under the lip and that's us. We're going to go in and blend it out. So I try to, like I do with like all kind of like cream products, I try to keep it in the same position that I applied it in. So we're just really trying to be cautious and blend out just that line, just to keep it there and kind of like slowly bring it up towards like my hairline a little bit. Yeah, a good way to kind of like make contour like perfect for you is to line it up with the top of your ear so line it up with your ear and kind of like um, just draw a line towards your ear or not draw a line but like use the contour like towards your ear <laughs> and the other side so we're just blending it out trying to keep it in the exact same position then we're going to do the lip so this will just add a little bit of volume um just make it look a lot 
like filler for lips at the bottom. We're going in with the forehead, just going to blend it out. So I try to like drag it down from my hairline a little bit, um, rather than like in the middle of your head. <laughs> so it's now time for nose contour. So I just like to take it and dab it out along my nose, like so. So I hope you guys are all well and yeah make sure to comment below and tell me just like any video ideas or suggestions you want me to film and i will try and do that <laughs> i feel like this summer has went so fast i'm also so excited for autumn like i'm over summer now like i feel like we've just not had a summer um so yeah <laughs> like the weather has just been like terrible but you know what that's what it is i'm just ready for autumn now i'm ready for it that's the only thing about makeup that annoys me is that I always get like makeup on my lips, like actual like foundation or concealer. I'm just gonna take that off. Now my lips look really red. Oh, you can never win. You can never win. So that is the nose now all blended out. So we are going to take some blush. So for team blush, we're taking the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Happy. This blush is phenomenal love it so so much i feel like i keep talking about it um like i talked about it in my other video as well but it's just so so good so we're just adding a tiny little bit like so because a little bit does go a very long way um i've probably ended up adding too much to be honest but that's what it is so we're just blending that out towards the top of my cheek like so you need to get your hands on the rare blushes they are so so good and they're not even that expensive either like honestly please if you get any of these products today get that um it is just so amazing but you only need a tiny little bit um because i always add far too much and i look a bit like a tomato or a clown i don't know <laughs> i love how natural it is but it's also very dramatic it's like the perfect balance. <laughs> Just make sure that's all blended out like so. I cannot not add blush on my nose now. Like, honestly, I don't think I could ever go back to not. Like, it's just a way of life now for me. <laughs> I love how like soft it is as well, but also you can like build it up. So if you want to add more, you can add more. <laughs> so I'm going to take a tiny little bit of setting powder just to set it in place. This is just going to kind of give it a little matte finish now i don't want it to be like too matte but obviously i don't want the makeup to just like slide off my face so add in a little bit like so so we are going to take some bronzer so for bronzer i'm just taking the kylie cosmetics bronzer as you can see this is very loved i use it most days <laughs> so just add in a little bit to the cheekbones like so. Like I said, I'm trying to do it like towards the top of my ear. Like that. Just to really sculpt out the face. Then the forehead, I just like to kind of contour like the edges and then kind of like leave the middle. I don't want too, too much bronzer because obviously this is a like easy natural summer glam so so we want it to be glam but also a little bit more natural and then the nose we're just going to take the bronzer down the nose on the other side and that's us done with the bronzer yet again gonna take my trusted beauty blender and just blend it out slightly this is the secret to not having harsh lines honestly and it just makes everything blend in so so nice and so smooth so for blush today i'm going to be taking the california blush by benefit so we're just going to take a little bit kind of towards the cheeks up to up like there so this is just going over the rare beauty blush just to add a bit more rose and then obviously on the nose i totally forget how pigmented this is so we definitely need to blend this out i 
So that's the blush calm down a little bit. So we're going to take the Rain Beauty highlighter in the shade Miss Mercury. And these highlighters are the best out there. They are so, so good. Like, just look at that. Look at that. Phenomenal. On the nose. Cupid's bow. There we go. We are going to spray just a little bit of setting spray. Just to set it all in place. That's definitely far too much, but oh well. So now it is time for eyes. So for eyeshadow today, I want something that is super light, a little bit bronzy, just really nice and natural. So we are going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics palette. Now this is one of our newer palettes. I think it might be the mini bronze palette because it doesn't actually say what it's called in the back or whatnot. So yeah, I'm sure it's that palette. I'm going to start off with the shade Vanilla, which is just a nice little base shade. I'm going to try and come really close up so you guys can see the whole line. Next, we're going to take the shade Unmatched. Just taking it in the crease. So I'm just taking the shade Mocha Latte, just a dark brown, adding a tiny little bit to the crease, like so. I also love how buildable these shades are. You can literally just add on as much as you want and they blend out so amazing. So I'm actually going to kind of change up a little bit, so instead of doing like a gold colour in the inner corners, I'm going to be using the Rem Beauty eye stick and this is in the shade Fembot. <laughs> so we're going to take a little bit of this. So it applies so so nicely. So we're going to apply it and blend it out. Look at that, it's so so nice. I'm going to take the other eye, so we'll kind of show you guys a little bit better on this side. Adding a little bit, a little bit for sure goes a long way with these. Just gonna blend it out. And there we go. I'm just gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna take the shade Boo Bear, which is a very dark brown, and kind of just fix this little section here, blend it out. So I forgot to say, I'm now using my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So I used the shade Boo Bear, and I'm now gonna use. The shade Booked, which is a start brown again, and just kind of follow up under the eye. So we are next going to just take a little bit of mascara to finish off, guys. I love how easy this look is, but you also kind of have kind of like the dramatic eyes. Um, obviously, the face is like very soft and natural. I love how amazing the Rain Beauty eyeshadows are. They are just so, so good and very pigmented. <laughs> you could totally as well add some like eyeliner or anything like that if you want to, but obviously I'm just going to keep it a little less dramatic today. Why not? <laughs> For eyebrows yet again, I'm just going to brush them out slightly just to give them some shape. Now to finish off today's look, I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Bear. So, love this lipstick so, so much. You don't need a lot of this. A little bit goes a long way. <laughs> you also could add a little bit of gloss on top of this as well, or just use gloss, but I want a more matte lip today. Hi hey guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you want to see any other content like this and I will see you in the next video. Bye.